everybody, and welcome to some more than spectating. The model seems to be lagging a little bit, but hey, we're doing our best. Doing some Warzone spectating as T1000. I might be able to turn off the model. Yeah, it looks like I might have to because it is completely lagging. I apologize in advance. It's going to be very jarring that it's not there anymore, but it's in the thumbnail. I apologize, but apparently the encoding overload is the thing. Uh, we're just going to spectate because I have nothing better to do. Uh, I basically just finished up recording some things for an upcoming project. So, splat. Um, that you guys should see soon. I'm going to be working on editing it throughout the week. Bits and pieces here and there. So we can win our gouge. In the goosh. We need to win our goosh so we can spectate someone maybe named Pickle Rick. We're fighting. We're fi are we fighting? Are, are we not fighting or. You're telling me there ain't one person in this gulag with me? This early on in the game. You did. Yeah, I must say. Win here and you return to the battlefield. Lose and your fight is over. Prove you can still fight, soldier. Oh, neat. Yeet! <laughs> Yeet, you're going to the back rooms. <laughs> I know it's not the T1000's execution, uh, but you'll. I, I I like it. But we're gonna. We're gonna drop into that uh, transit hole there. Hi. Right. We. Oh. We got 100. Amazing. I do have the uh, CDL up in the background uh, on a separate Chrome tab. So if we, that might be also causing some lag, but it shouldn't be too, too bad. That's probably what's causing the mod of the lag is I have Chrome open. But hey, we're expectating El Maraico. We're no longer spectating him because he just got killed trying to get his Lodi, which is an Armagera and a Psykov, which is a weird build. It's a weird long-range Armagera. This guy's picked up his loadout. TWS Skywalker with the MP5, the Cold War MP5, and a Cooper Carbon. Carbine. I know, it's Cooper Carbine. I like to say Cooper Carbine because it's funny. But yeah. They have two kills, so they just killed the person who spectate. They just killed the person who we were spectating, and one other person. Most like maybe it's a gulag. They have a gulag and a redeploy, so we'll be with this guy for a little bit. Is Goldberg be that good? It certainly feels like it. Oh, poor guy. Spectating a guy named Breezy, looks like. Too Breezy. He's Canadian. He's getting engaged by the guy who just killed Skywalker. He's got the Kilo, the Yandere Kilo. Great gun there. He's rolling on that heartbeat sensor a little too much. It's going to get him killed. You see him. He's in the window. Yep, there you go. Chico Pollo is our new victim of spectating. 
A Chica Pola. They're a stoner, most likely, judging by all the weed shit. Oh, there's a rose skin here. Interesting. What's going on here? I'm going to turn off the light that I was using for my model. Because it just started to flicker, and now I'm paranoid that the bulb's about to burst. So I'm gonna turn. I don't usually use it, but if I'm doing a specifically a video for professionalism, I use it. And sometimes I turn it on here if the lighting from outside isn't enough. Which it isn't, unfortunately. So It is only 2 p.m., so it's not super late. Yeah, using those as actual binoculars ain't a bad idea. Because the spotter scope's kind of dookie. <laughs> Maju Spud. We got, yeah, Maju Spud Impenetrable. With a kilo, base kilo. Not a fan of that optic, but I'm proud that he's not using the VLK because I personally don't like the VLK. I use VLK because I know it's good, but I personally would much prefer the hollow sight because of the way I, my setup is made. The VLK is the best sight for my build. Um, but I would personally use the combat core hollow, the rectangular one that everyone uses on their M13. That's what I use on my M13. On my M13. Um, we haven't seen a second gun yet. He has a heartbeat, so he's playing like a pansy. He just picked up speed boost. He's got a three-line rifle. Damn, I am impressed. Seems to be very... The somewhat mixed build with that. I can't really tell. Definitely built to try and get that one-shot headshot that you could still somehow get with that thing. He's gonna get... He's gonna get oh, he didn't get sniped. You got so lucky you called in that UAV. It's got two kills. They're not cheating because most cheaters try to show off when they're cheating. He's definitely just got a little, he's just definitely a little slow on the uh, uptake there. But he did react decently fast, so I'll give him that. He's not good. I mean, this is the one situation where I would definitely say using a heartbeat's a good idea. The person he's hunting is not ghost. So he knows that they will p get picked up unless he gets a loadout. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, I'm like I'm watching entirely because I'm trying to I'm trying to hear because I usually you can hear because oh, Modern Warfare's footsteps are massive are massively loud, like stampeding elephant loud. Um, I'm like I didn't know where he was. He's over by uh sub pens, isn't he? Yeah, very weird spot to be, but it's also got a lot of options to move. He can run right uphill here. He doesn't really need to. He's still he's in dead center zone, basically. If zone pulls north, he's kind of screwed. Um, but if it pulls south, 
It's kind of good because he's got a lot of coverage here. I'm curious what this what this guy's gonna do here because he's in a good uh, he's in a good position. He's got high ground. Yeah, he's by the bridge. This I love dropping here in this area here and then rotating up towards here because there's a golden vault here. So if I get a vault gold vault key from this area here and then go to this little bunker here, I can easily just get stuff done. But and hey, there's an armored convoy there, which means we might get a W5 bomb here soon. I've never personally called one in, but I know they can be very cool. Speed boost. He's going to try and cross the bridge, I think. No, he's going to go up. There you go. Get that bounty. So you might be able to, yeah, you might be able to see him cross. That's not the bounty, but hey. Ooh, good hit. He's got Combat Scout. It's not cheating, it's Combat Scout. It's a perk in the game. Damn, I, I'll give him that. He's got a shot. He's good. He's got a shot. He's good at the game. EQ, 505. Playing it very slow, but I, I, but as much as people say playing slow is kind of bad, sometimes if you're, if you don't have the confidence. Hey, if you don't got the confidence, I, I, I value, I can value a player who's got the shot confidence, but not the movement comp, or not the aggression confidence. I get overly aggressive and I get too confident. I overcommit to fights. That's my main problem. I overcommit to fights and I get myself fucked over. He's right on the other side of that building he marked. He's waiting for him to rotate. Hope that, yeah, but I hope that combo doesn't go uphill. I saw that coming. But so yeah, if that convoy didn't shoot at him, the person with the bounty was going to shoot at him, or he's going to get flanked from behind. He's getting flanked from behind current. Get into cover, dude. Been out. Yeah, EQ killed him. He's using the Blixen. Blixen Cooper, not a bad setup. EQ. Oh! EQ must have died because this is not who we were spectating. Interesting. Different set. This is a different character person. He's level 34, no emblem, no calling card. This makes me think we have a cheater. I'm not going to immediately assume, but he's low level. So it could just be. A new player, a clueless new player, because obviously I know plenty of them. That's not a dig at anyone I know. I'm just saying I know plenty of clueless new players who, or I have seen plenty of clueless new players. I'm going to rephrase that sentence so I'm not insulting people. Um, Him ADSing through walls like that is making me think he has walls. But the way he's the way his movement is makes me think he's new. Cause like let me this way. I'm gonna say this right now. I don't know anyone who personally has never played Call of Duty. I know people who are new to Call of Duty and it play it and still play it decently well because it's a shooter and they've played other shooters before. But most of the people I know at least know how to play Call of Duty. 
I've never met someone who's never played Call of Duty before and plays like this. They at least have the confidence to run around because they play other shooters. Yeah, no, he's definitely new. <laughs> they are definitely new. I can tell by that panic melee, they're new. Simple Rick. And also, remember we think I was uh, dissing Neoma? No. Neoma's actually, I would say, almost a little bit better than me. Uh, <laughs> I'll admit they are probably pretty, but a lot better than me. <laughs> They're better enough that I can, with confidence, say that they would probably be able to stand their own against a 1v1 with me. <laughs> they wouldn't get completely swamped. Let me put it that way. Cause I know, because Neoma beats me in almost every single one we want we do whenever on any game. Multiverses, Splatoon, Smash, Mario Kart if RNG is in is in not in my favor. Neoma's a gamer. Alright. They are a gamer. Hell, the only game I think I could like beaten Neoma in is Pokemon. But that's just because I used an OP team. Because <laughs> my Thor and Shield playthrough team is busted. <laughs> and even then, I use a not playthrough team and Yoma beats my ass. <laughs> I use my team that we, uh... I, th I don't think we actually did a proper battle with our PAX teams yet. Which I want to do a video on. Because we were going to do the PAX Pokemon League. We decided to not do it. Um, But I will do a video on both of our teams. Or I want to do a video on both 14s. I don't know when or if we'll do it, but I want to do a video on it. Um, because it's, I'm, it's the team I'm the most proud of. Just because of how well I tried to build it. I tried to build it to be very balanced. Playing as a default. Playing as a, Ru a Russian default character. Makes me think that they're probably using that... Uh, the skin that Jev uses, but it looks like he has skin exposed, so probably not. Also, I just point out they're using the KG. KG? I gotta say, it's the KG M40 underrated weapon. Underrated. Because people. It, obviously, it is meta. Not saying it's not meta and it's underrated. It's meta and it's uh, and it's really underrated because people like to gravitate towards those modern warfare weapons out. They kind of buffed them up. I think the KGM forty is is the best weapon in the game right now because of how pinpoint accurate it is. That is evil. What you just have done to them, Rick, is evil. How dare you? He has the 99% stress fucking Blixen. He should still be to your right. I don't think he dropped down. I think he should still be to your right there, bud. I guess he has to drop down eventually because of the zone, but... If I know him, he's probably in the car right now. I know what he's doing. He's basically doesn't want to play the game of dropping down and then getting pinched. So he's, yeah, he's making his own play here, which is risky, but smart. Because he's got to get out of zone. He knows the other guy is there and has an armored backup. He doesn't want to play into that. He doesn't want to play into into um this person's game, so he's trying. To, yeah, he has fourteen kills. That's rest. Oh my god. He might be able to get twenty if he pops off here. My personal record without wit. Without, my personal record and closest game. I think it's I got fifth with eight kills. Because I'm not one to go for kills. I'm one to try and play my life. And basically treat every single gunfight as if I'm doing as if I'm going to lose it. So I'm I'm a very passive player. I'll admit it. I play very aggressively in multiplayer, but in a BR, I get pa I panic and I get scared and I'm like 
a lot more play my life, which is weird because before I have uh I recently won two games in Fortnite in one day, and the second game I wasn't even trying to win. I was just happened to be I didn't even realize like it was one of those things where I got the final kill, I'm like, oh that was the last guy? I'm like, oh, okay. Oh, there we go. He's got got he yeah he's get he got shot from down to his left yeah he just got shot again. That's actually smart pinging where he is. There you go. Oh hey, it's the guy that we uh. The guy that we ran into earlier came back. That was, I think, the level, like, the low-level guy, I think. Yeah, I think that was the low-level guy. He managed to still, he managed to come back. He must have won his gouge. Must have won his gulag out of replay token. I didn't notice. Obviously, you can't use him now. The gulag's closed. But he probably won his, he probably died right before the gulag closed. There's eight people left. He can, if he can get some, if he can get five of those people, it's Tony Bomb. I'm thinking he's probably not going to get it. He is playing a little slow, but 15 is not, still not a bad in the game. For me, 15 is like, oh my god. I think I got a 15 bomb in Blackout. I think the best BR game I've ever had was either an Apex game where I got five kills and we got a total of 16. Or it was a game of Blackout and maybe we got like 20 kills between three of us and I got one. I'm usually, the, like I said, I'm usually the one to play support. I'm usually the one who's trying to either help others get kills or revive people. I'm not one to usually get kills myself. If I do, it's miraculous if it's when it's uh, multiple players. Because I'm usually getting kills stolen. Actually, we did have a Rebirth of the Dead win. Um, if I remember to put the clip in the video, I'll put it here. Um, holy hell, that, the, you can even, uh, we have the Rebirth of the Dead win, and I killed somebody and came back right as the last human died. I killed the last human and came back, giving us the win, because I was still, I was considered a human when I killed the last person. So, it gave us a win, which is great. It's literally like frame perfect pain, like enemy team pain speed run. It was amazing. Again, if I remember to put the clip, I will. It looks like it's going to probably be. I'm saying he's going to get 16. 16 kills. Because the, the, there's a person right in front of him underneath that deck. There's going to be someone probably over to his left by the road there that's going to be just pushing into zone. And there's probably someone behind him. Not like right behind it, but like somewhat behind him, just out inside zone, to his left. What would now be in front of him? Like maybe in that house, or like in one of the houses up top there. Oh my god! I thought that thing behind him was a person. It's just a bunch of clothes. Everyone's ghosted. Stop using your heartbeat. Everyone's clearly ghosted. Yep, there it is, yep. Is he gonna lose? He might lose. You saw him. He, he has the low ground. He's, he, I think he loses this. Although, he, although, the person he's fighting has to rush it. Because the zone. So he has that. He does have zone advantage. I'm watching the player count, like, attentively. Meaning either he's gassed. Yep, there he is. Yep, there he is. Dead. 16. I'm about to say, either he's dead or the gas hasn't killed. Either, I'm about to say, like, either 
his gas mask is just as about to break, or he's not, or he hasn't died yet, or like he was stimming. It definitely looks like he's probably stim rushed out, but he got caught, so he got caught lacking. Like I said, I'm not a huge Warzone player, but I love watching it competitively and love watching Warzone in general. So, me doing these spectating videos, it gives you a look into what is my skill bracket, which I think is like high silver, low silver. What would be considered silver. Uh, makes me really excited for Warzone Ranked, because I do want to try it. It'd be fun. Um, but I, I heard that frag land right next to him, too. I heard it get thrown at him. I heard, I heard the pin pull. I'm like, that wasn't a grenade, was it? No, yeah, he got rushed. He has to move. It's who's left. Console FOV. Console FOV. Console FOV. I'm on console, so I shouldn't be saying that, but console FOV. Yep. Oh my god, no fucking way. It's 1v1. He's getting 18 kills. If he gets killed now, I'm going to be so heartbroken for Rick. I'd laugh if this is somebody I know. If I know somebody who, uh, his gamer tag is like Rick. Something Rick. I think he's screwed because he's stuck down. Oh, never mind. He, so is this guy. GG. GG Simple Rick. What a great... That was... He did great. That was actually a great... I really enjoyed watching it. I wish I watched him from the start. It was a great game. He played that very well at the end, too. He played that incredibly well just for, like, especially getting, um, lucky with that gas mask, uh, on that, uh, McLean. Like, him getting that gas mask on McLean and being able to rush and be able to play zone a little bit more was definitely what saved his ass. 100%. But yeah, that was great. I loved that. That was a great game. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed... Be sure to leave a like if you want to see more Warzone spectating. Um, subscribe if you want to see more from me. Click the bell so you don't miss out on any videos. I upload every single day at 12 p.m. EST. Um, and I try to stream. And if there is no upload, that means I have to, I'm trying to stream that day or I am sick with death. Um, but yeah, anyway, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. And again, leave a like if you want to see more from me. And uh, leave a comment on what games you want to see from me moving forward because it could be a lot of change coming up with um l not in sort of lp content because obviously you have model for two coming out you got uh the dark picture stuff i want to get back into um the quarry um obviously once i get a series x there's plenty of games that are series x exclusive that i want to do elden ring um the medium bunch of games so yeah if there's anything specifically you guys want to see more than anything let me know in the comment section below uh, follow me on the description, Twitter, Instagram, and I do have a TikTok. It's not in the description because I don't want to get my channel taken down because apparently that's a thing that can happen. Um, yeah. Uh, join the community Discord so you can take part in any party games that may happen and or um, get notified when videos go live. I'm going to go try and get a Warzone win and also edit um, the Melee video because that is going to be coming up very soon. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a good day, everybody.